So I work in a remote area in northern Tanzania with one of the last remaining hunter-gatherer populations left on the planet, the Hadza. And when I'm there, I have no electricity, I sleep in a one-person tent, I cook my dinner on the open fire, and I have, on one occasion, run from uh, wild elephants. So I'm often asked, you must love camping in the outdoors. Is that why you do this? To which I reply, do I look like someone who likes to camp? Um, have you seen my hair, my nails? Um, I do it because I love the questions that research with the Hadza can potentially answer, questions about the origins of our species' psychology. So humans have been hunter-gatherers for the vast majority of their time on the planet, right? Agriculture, it's only been around for the last 10,000 years. Tinder, that's been around for three years, right? Um, instead, about 50,000 generations of differential survival and reproduction took place in a hunter-gatherer way of life. But college students and Westerners more generally, they're often used as our subjects in our studies, right? Because they're convenient to use. But they represent a small fraction of the population that exists today and just a sliver of the population that has ever existed. So work with small scale societies like the Hadza, it's important because it can not only, not only does it help us to recognize and you know, appreciate the diversity that's present in human psychology, but it also helps us to uncover those traits and those behaviors that really do unite us um, as a species. So in short, by offering us a window to our past, hunter-gatherer research can help to inform our present. Thank you.